Chris here from Perma Systems. Here is a rainwater harvesting system we just finished up for a client uh, in San Diego. So they had a problem with a lot of water coming down this drainage off the roof into the downspouts, flooding underneath the house, coming down this hardscape and getting in all kinds of places they didn't want it. So we plumbed in two 865 gallon rainwater harvesting tanks and tied into these two downspouts from the gutters. Um, first bit of water goes down this pipe, which is a first flush device. I'll show you that on the other side a little more. And then once that fills up, the cleaner water then goes down into our tank. And there's a screen there to make sure other debris and animals or things don't get in the tanks. Then have this line here that helps when we're taking water from the tanks on the hose bib on the other side that lets the water be used from the tanks evenly and an isolation valve just in case we need to separate the tanks for some reason to fix something maintenance or just for anything but when this tank fills up although there is some water going here we want to make sure we maintain the same size connection throughout the whole system so this tank will overflow to this tank and if this tank both of them actually fill up then it overflows here now we can see down here this is the first flush device pipe and we tied it in to the overflow um, of the tank so it just makes it really easy for the client when that first flush is full they can just turn this handle and that extra dirty water goes down this drainage and down the hill since it wasn't really a good place to dump some of the dirtier water here just like an extra easy low maintenance thing here's the hose bib that ties in to both of the tanks so when the client wants to use the water they can just hook up a hose or a pump or whatever they want and use that water we also put in a drip irrigation system down here and i'll show you that and also kind of show you where this overflow goes because we kind of had to be creative we didn't want to block uh, access and had a lot of hardscape so there's no digging so the line just follows and snakes and goes down all the way to the back here because we wanted to get the water down the hill away so it wouldn't cause any damage so the pipe goes and goes and goes here there 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 and then right in here, we put a perforated pipe, a pipe with tons of little holes in it. So this overflow, when it fills up and water starts coming out, it'll go down this pipe and it'll come out all these little holes. And what's nice about it is it really spreads out the water over this whole area and then lets it sink down even slower because it's spread out over a big area and then helps it sink in even more. So all these plants in the canyon will get more water, especially up the hill, because it's not just running down where it used to, this hardscape like a little river, hitting all these areas and causing a lot of erosion. So it's a really nice system now that um, turns a problem into a resource. And then the other thing we did is hooked in a gravity drip irrigation system. So the client can plug in a hose up at the tank and then tie in to this inlet with a little filter and this tubing goes all the way zigzags and snakes around the hills here gets all these succulents and other plants on all sides and it's just gravity drip we use some special emitters that help make sure it's watered evenly and thoroughly and they're for these extra low pressure situations so they can just use rainwater to water this whole hillside, making it really easy for them. And um, they get to use rainwater, which plants really love. So thanks for checking in and uh, have a good one. See ya.